Hello, everyone. Welcome to Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom, January 16th, 2022, our weekly upload. I hope you enjoy this beautiful topic that we have today. I'm going to be talking about making yourself a priority and understanding that self-care and self-worth are hand in hand. So let's start with the question of what is self-care because people my age and uh, I don't, I can't speak for the younger generation because this is part of what something new we've all learned is to treat ourselves um, with a, with a kindness and a compassion that wasn't necessarily promoted when, when I was younger. I know for sure my parents didn't have it. And, um, I think it really played a huge role in some of the hardships they faced emotionally and led to some of the other negative habits and toxic energy that that comes along with denying your own self and allowing others to take from you to, to such a degree that you never really recover from it. So self-care is all about allowing you to be first. And it doesn't mean selfish. We're not talking about taking from others. We're talking about making time in your day to allow yourself to be heard, seen, expressed. So some people use journaling as the first thing to do in the morning, have a cup of coffee and journal. Other people like to get physical, and so they'll take time to do yoga or do some kind of workout, you know, small things. If some people walk and ride a bicycle, it can be anything that makes you happy. That's the the basic thing is to allow yourself to do something that increases your ability to connect to source and therefore heal yourself from, from the traumas of life and allow yourself to be in a place of restoring and rebuilding and resetting. Remember, sometimes we forget ourselves completely. I can tell you um, there was a time in my life when I didn't even realize what I had done until I got like an epiphany or kind of a wake-up call. I had removed all the mirrors in my house that were not... what I wanted to see. It was, it removed me from looking at my whole body because I would look at myself in the mirror and, and immediately do something very opposite of self-care, which was self-judge and immediately pass the shame and indignation uh, upon myself. And that's the hardest thing to swallow because If it's coming from you, you don't challenge it. And you would never say some of the things that you say to yourself to another person, especially someone you love. So we have to remember, we are people too. And we need validation and love and compassion and generosity of spirit as you would give to your children or your spouse or someone you love, any family member or friend. It is about letting yourself be existent in your own mind and and that you count, that you're not last. You don't have to wait for everyone else to have theirs before you get to have yours. So it's if you wait till the end of the day, you'll be exhausted and you're not going to want to really give yourself good energy. Let's Let's ask you this. The most important person in your life outside of yourself, Whoever that may be, the person you love the most, the person you respect the most, the person that you want to be most like, how do you treat them? Are they first? If they call you, do you answer the phone immediately? Probably. Understand that you need to answer your own call from yourself because your inner self is always trying to connect and contact with you. And allow yourself to understand this is not about physical. I'm not talking about a physical appearance, although that does matter. 
um, because you have to be, be able to accept yourself exactly as you are before you can change a thing, right? So you have to start from here I am, but that's okay, right? If you don't like where you are, that's okay. I can change that. But if you never accept where you are, it's very hard to start from from a place you don't know exists, right? So understand that it's important because this is where your strength is. This is where you are validated as existing and important and worthy and worthwhile and being in that energy of of giving yourself that attention because if you're starved for your own attention how in the world can you form any kind of new routine or habit or change anything it's just not possible to do it in a way that really connects with source and and flow. So meditation is one of the ways to connect yourself and allow yourself to breathe. Breathing meditations are the easiest and the the most connected you can get. It's, it's, It's the basic, perfect way to plug in. It's just to allow yourself to pay attention to the sound of the air coming in and out of your body. Allow yourself to go with the flow. Um, whether you want to do a workout or it's just the thing is you get to pick. That's the most important part to understand here. My way may not be your way and that's fine. It's absolutely fine. Allow yourself to be okay with where you are and where you're starting so that you can move forward because if you don't face the fact of where you are, you don't even know which direction is forward. So Part of the self-care is also mental, allowing yourself to be your biggest support and cheerleader and forgiver and goal setter. All of those things are you are doing for other people. You're doing them for coworkers, you're doing it for your family and your friends and your all your all the people in your life, even your pets. You're being that wonderful energy for them. And if you're not, please do. <laughs> I'm I'm going with the predication that you are already helping others more than you are helping yourself because that's most people. Um, Being in a place of caring for others is an obligation and it becomes a resentment when you don't give yourself the same because you feel cheated. And that is about the law of divine compensation. When you put something out, you must be compensated. So even if, so somebody who's like, say my elderly mother, when I was taking care of her, she couldn't compensate me enough at all, but she compensated in the way that she gave me a reason to compensate myself. And if I didn't do that, I would be resentful when she would call me, you know, in the middle of the day and, and want something I considered trivial, right? So Allowing yourself to be the support that you need in the energy of, I'm going to make my day special for me. And then everyone else gets a special day because you're already in the mood and in the energy and the flow of having that built up energy of creating that wonderful frequency. When you start off in a feeling of depreciation, okay, or negative balance, then that whole day goes negative balance. Understand that you've got to start off in the energy of deposit or restoring, refilling, resetting, allowing yourself to go into that energy. So we have to make space for ourselves. We have to allow ourselves to open our creative energy, allow ourselves to enjoy This life, life is supposed to be enjoyed and surprising and amazing and bringing yourself the energy of feeling like life is just a fabulous adventure. And there are, listen, I know days, many days strung into years (laughs) of not being in that place, but in my heart, I knew there was a, a, 
just this pull in my heart that kept saying, there is more to life than this. This can't be all there is. This is not what I know life should and could be. And then you have to go about figuring out, well, what if my life were perfect in the way of feeling support and love, I want you to understand that doesn't come from outside yourself. You can get all the people in the world to, to cheer your name and you can be the most fabulous, wonderful person and everybody knows who you are and everybody loves you and you can have all the money and all the prestige. And if you don't feel worthy, none of it matters. So training yourself to receive the energy from yourself that you are special and you are talented and you are creative, you are abundant and you are strong, you are loving and lovable. All of these things matter. And if you, if any of those things I've just said hit a little spot with you and you went, no, oh, no, that's, I, 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 I don't identify with that. Start identifying with it. Create it. If you can't create it, you will never have it. Because I can tell you all day long, I could tell you every single minute of every single day of every, every moment of your life, I could tell you, you're amazing, you're special, you're wonderful, you're just the most awesome person. If you don't believe it, then you'll start to resent me for telling you that. And that's what happens a lot of times. Our family tries to give us love and other people try to give us love. And that's why it doesn't matter what's happening externally. The self-love and self-care has to be planted from a root within yourself. The seed has to grow within you. And by extension, you will affect everyone around you. You will help them to understand what that is and, and allow them to watch your example and to feel the benefit of who you are. Because if you truly want to help others in your life, then you need to be vibrating at a supremely high frequency. If you want to really make an impact on people, get yourself in a place of absolutely living, in a place of of releasing yourself from fear and releasing yourself from shame, releasing yourself from the need to please everyone else. What you want to live in is the energy of inspiration and allowing yourself to be that inspiration and that, you know, you know, people like this who come into your day and you're like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, you just make me, you just lift me up. You just lift me up. And so when two people like that get together and both people are in that high frequency, you lift everyone else up in the, in the near radius of you. They just can't help but be lifted. So understand that that's the best blessing you can give yourself and other people. And right now, um, we are really taxed on just getting through a normal day because normal isn't the same normal as it used to be. And so I want to talk about physical self-care and emotional self-care. So first of all, I'm not going to call myself completely out on this, but I noticed something when we were really thick in, in last year and everything was, was shut down and nobody was moving and everything was closed. I noticed I started like forgetting to brush my teeth and forgetting what day it was and starting to feel this disconnect with life force itself. That is going to cause you a a downslide in your, that's depression. That's the beginning of getting into the hole, into the, into the deep, dark pit of despair, right? And it starts with just something that simple and innocent because I was denying myself what I would normally do on an everyday basis. And it wasn't that I was doing it on purpose. It was a side effect from what I was feeling. So understand that you start to cause yourself a physical issue without even knowing that's what you're doing. Now, it didn't didn't cause me any illness. I didn't, you know, it wasn't that big a deal. I figured out what was going on pretty quickly. And I had to start to manage myself as if I had somewhere to be. 
And just having the feeling of having somewhere to be restored that energy within myself and allowed me to start being the person that I know I am without denying myself, without pushing myself to the side and going, well, you know, this day is going to be just like every other day and I'm not going to have any interaction with anybody physically and it's just me and Jack and nobody could see me. Nobody can see my hair is uncombed and, you know, I was making, I was justifying all of this. And and that's when I started to catch myself and go, no, 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 we're going to suit up and show up. That's what we're going to do. So I got myself some cute little athleisure stuff and started to to dress as though I was going somewhere. I was dressing as though I was going to the gym. I was going, you know, dressing as though I was going to the store. I wanted to be um, ready. I, I, you know, put fix your hair, put on your makeup. I didn't go that far. I only put on the makeup a couple of times. <laughs> But I wasn't a big makeup person anyway, so that wasn't that big a deal. I just want to point out to you, if you were, if you are, do it. Do what you have uh, built up in your habits and your daily energy. Allow yourself to be yourself and the way you feel best presenting yourself. Present yourself that way to you, even if no one else sees it. You see it. Your eyes are looking at yourself, you're looking back at you from the mirror. So allow yourself to do that. And just to go back on that part where I I told you, I realized I didn't have any mirrors. The first, well, I had my bathroom mirror and I had a couple of little wall mirrors where I could see my hair and knew I wasn't looking like I'd a cat slept on my head um, <laughs> when I would go to work. But that was, that was at a time where I was working a job that... Um, kind of had me grinding pretty hard and I and I was exhausted and I didn't just didn't want to see w- the work that needed to be done. I didn't want to see the you know the anything but the image I already had of myself because it would then prompt me to have to either give myself a negative comment or feel dejected or like somehow I was not good enough, right? So I, first thing I did was go out and buy a full-length mirror and hung it in my bedroom wall because I wanted it to be the first thing. It was on the, my side of the bed. As soon as my feet hit the floor, I was standing up in front of it. And I started to talk to myself as though I were someone who loved me for every single thing I was, loved every hair on my head, loved everything about myself, every lump and bump, every curve, everything. And when I saw something that I would judge immediately, I would put my hands on it. And then I would say, oh, I love you. I love you. And you are perfect. You are, you are worthy. You are working. You work, you are in perfect form and perfect ability. Even if you don't have a model figure, love yourself as if you do. Because it is the only body you got this go around, unless you want to make another trip back to this rock. So understand that the physical energy that you look at yourself as matters. And understand that your emotional energy suffers when you're in a place of feeling like you're not physically good enough. So If you have no illness or disease that is causing you to not be able to move, if you do not have a wound or an injury, then allow yourself to move because our bodies are made for this and it automatically will release the endorphins you need, the oxytocin, all of the feel-good stuff that comes with being strong and, and empowered because you can feel powerful all day long. But if you can't make it up a flight of stairs, it's very, very much going to pull you back into the energy of feeling weak and unpowerful. So allow yourself to empower yourself to be who you want to be. If you don't like what you see or how everything is going, this is only temporary. You can change it. Allow yourself to take charge of your own wellness within yourself, your emotional wellness, your, your self-love, speak to yourself kindly, speak to yourself lovingly, and allow yourself to do the things you would do if 
you were feeding your own child, would you feed them what you eat? That's a good question. Do, would you feed your animals what you eat? Because if you do, you're, you're killing your animals. But if, if you do it in a mass load and you give a, an animal a cheeseburger every day, it's not going to live very long. It'll be happy because it thinks it's getting what it needs, just like us, right? It's like, oh, well, it's got meat and it's got carbs, but not, you know, I, it's got all the food groups, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's not proportioned for a long life. It's proportioned for a fast mo- meal. That's why they call it fast food. So let yourself dive into this topic within yourself and allow yourself to be honest and loving and make a plan because you're worth every single breath that you can take for the rest of your life. Allow yourself to be beautiful and loved and loving. Many blessings to you all. May you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next week. That's all for now. I'm going to send you a wonderful blessing to, to leave the show with, so... May we all find ourselves within ourselves. May we swim within the energy of absolute pure love and light and benefit from the healing energy of forgiveness and perseverance, striving to be happy, healthy, and whole, spiritually, physically, and emotionally, as we allow ourselves to be imperfectly perfect. Many blessings to you all. Love, light, and abundance, prosperity, joy, happiness, and peace. Thank you.